Have you been thinking about doing an off-road Xterra triathlon? Well, don't do it. Even though there's lots of evidence that mountain biking and trail running actually can help reduce overuse injuries typically caused by the repetitive movements of road cycling and road running, I have got plenty of reasons for you to stay off of those trails. Hey, it's Coach Eric, and this channel is all about learning from my training and racing mistakes. And one of those is doing an off-road triathlon or Xterra triathlon or cross triathlon or whatever you want to call them. See, they can't even agree on a single name for it, so it's already confusing and no one knows what you're even talking about. For the purposes of this video, we'll go with off-road triathlon, and I have a laundry list of reasons why you should not do an off-road triathlon. Number one, I don't know about you, but I hate sleeping in. These races for off-road triathlon typically start at like 9 a.m. If I can't start a race by 6.30, 7 a.m., forget it. Reason number two, a lot of these races are at a state park or close by, so you can actually camp on site, roll out of bed, and you're at the start line. I don't know about you, but if I'm not in a luxurious hotel where I've got to drive to battle traffic, battle parking, or take a 4 a.m. shuttle to transition, I don't want to do it. Reason number three, these off-road triathlons usually only take a few hours and you're done by noon at the latest. I don't know about you, but I need an excuse to tell my friends why I can't meet them for brunch. And if I can't spend an entire day exercising or at least half the day, I don't want to do it. Reason number four to not do an off-road triathlon, the swims are usually only 800 to 1500 meters. You're talking a half mile to not even a mile. It will take you longer to get your wetsuit off than it takes to actually swim these courses. What's the point? It's too short. Reason number five is the mountain bike leg. And this reason has like five reasons within this reason. So first of all, you have to have a mountain bike to do an off-road triathlon. At least in a road triathlon, you could use a commuter bike, uh, you could use your road bike. You don't need a triathlon specific bike, but not true for off-road, gotta have that mountain bike. And if you wanna have a total body workout, this is not the sport for you. You will be twisting, turning, standing, sitting, pedaling for a little bit, stopping pedaling. You'll actually probably have to get off your bike. Even the, some of the best professionals have to jump off their bike and either push it over terrain, carry it over some certain terrain, jump back on. If there's multiple laps, you gotta do this multiple times. Ugh, I wanna just be able to sit on the bike and just pedal my legs and relax. I don't want a total body workout. Not only that, but as you're going through the course, you might actually hit your handlebars on a tree. You might actually get dirt on your kit. There's been a, a few races where I went to drink my water bottle and as I put it in my mouth, I got a bunch of dirt because there's dirt already collecting on the water bottle. Ugh, so annoying. Even more annoying, I don't know if you're riding on special trails, but when I'm training and racing, I've had to dodge horse apples and only to find out when I got home, sometimes I didn't do the best job dodging them and I'm cleaning out horse poo out of my tires. Not fun. If I haven't convinced you to not do one of these off-road triathlons yet, let's take it to the run course. You actually have to pay attention to virtually every step you take. Otherwise, you're gonna fall uh, or twist an ankle with the ruts and the rocks and the mud. I mean, it's hard enough running on the road and you're telling me that I could potentially get hurt uh, while I'm running. And not only that, these off-road courses are way more difficult than the road courses. Even some of the best professionals have to speed walk or hike up a couple of the, of the running uh, sections because it's, it's so difficult. Sounds like a terrible, terrible time if you ask me. Then there's the finish line. After an off-road triathlon, there's typically some delicious beer like Lagunitas. They pair it with some nachos. You sit around with your fellow competitors, share some war stories. I would much prefer having crappy pizza and soda uh, like I did at my last road triathlon. I truly hope that video was helpful for you. I really don't want you to have the awful experience of doing an off-road triathlon. So hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any other free weekly training and racing tips from learning from my mistakes. And until next week, I will see you on the trails. Oh yeah, no. No, I don't think they had any idea it was reverse psychology at all. <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah, we should fool them. Yeah, all right. Okay, thanks.